Tools Tube. Welcome to West Virginia. My name is Cheryl and this is my channel Tranquil Stitches. Today is Monday, November 12th, 2018 and this is my Foss Tube episode number 32. Chester says, hey, happy Veterans Day everybody. I've been celebrating my veteran for the last couple days. My husband is a 13-year Army veteran and he served in Desert Storm so I always make, let him know he's my hero. I do that all the time, but especially around Veterans Day. It's cold here, rainy here. It's going to get colder. It gets dark very early. 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock, it's dark. Well, by 6 o'clock, it's completely dark outside. So winter is knocking on the door. Hope everyone had a good week. I had a very busy week. I had my trip to the open house at Cross Stitch Station this past week. I had a lot of fun. My sister went. I, my husband, he decided he was stay home. He he's just got too much on his honey do list before the holidays. So he he just he just decided to to hang back. He said he could spare me for two nights as long as it wasn't six again. So yeah, he doesn't doesn't do too well with extended periods, but he's okay a day or two. So if he says I but so my sister and I left Thursday. We went up and we stopped at Joanne's. Joanne's had their floss on sale on Thursday. Thursday, Friday and Saturday I think. 8th, 9th, and 10th, and the price in the flyer said too low to show, and you didn't know till you got there, but it was 40 cents a skein, so still, the regular price is 56, so it's still, you know, I, I plugged in some holes in my collection, got, got several skeins of that, and so we did a little bit of shopping there, and then um, on Friday, I surprised her with a trip to Walton's Mountain, which is Schuyler, Virginia. Schuyler, Virginia is where Earl Hamner Jr., the creator of the Waltons, the writer of the Waltons, grew up, and that's where he, where it all started. That's where he started writing, and we visited the Waltons Mountain Museum, which is Earl Hamner's high school. The high school he graduated from is actually the museum. We went to Ike's, the site of the original Ike's grocery store, and then we toured Earl Hamner's home where that he shared with his parents and his seven siblings. I don't know, um, I can throw a little bit of trivia at you, and if you don't want to hear Walton's Mountain trivia, if you, if you ever plan to go and you'd rather learn it for yourself, then just fast forward through a little bit. But there, there were actually eight children instead of seven. Ben, the character on the show, Ben was actually representing twin boys. There were a set of twins. Earl had twin brothers, and they condensed the twins down to one character on the show, and Ben was the actor that portrayed the twins. So there were the two, the mom and dad, Doris and Earl Sr., and then eight children, and they shared a, they shared a two, two-story, three-bedroom company house company house because the soapstone quarry was literally right around you could almost see it from their front porch so the that company built several houses in that area and there were 10 of them in the house grandma and grandpa did not live there but they lived close by there was a baptist church really close to the house that they attended and there was a shed that john boy went out and wrote a lot um, to get away from the other children and that shed is now a gift shop we had a guided tour through his house my husband and I went a, a few years ago and there was no tour they just gave you the key and you went up and meandered through the house but there was an actual tour this time and it was very very interesting to hear all about the family and how it all started now, as you know, Earl Hamner did not write every episode of The Waltons. There were different writers that wrote, wrote. So some some of it is fiction from his mind. Some of it is fiction from other writers. And but a lot of it, a lot of it was his real real experiences. There's a rockfish nearby, and we stopped at um, an antique shop in Rockfish. I've got some pictures of that. And there is a Drusilla's pond. And they recently discovered headstones where the pond is dried up, but they recently discovered headstones 
from uh, Drusilla and her husband near where the pond was. So someone has bought, I'm not sure who, but someone has bought seven acres behind the house. So they are actually going to build a replica of the house that was on the show on that seven acres of land. And that's going to happen within the next six months. So that's exciting. We will definitely be going back and, uh, and seeing that. Now, a lot of the props in the museum, um, very, very few are from the actual set. The, the uh, Waltons was filmed in California. It was, it was filmed in California. So none of it was filmed in Skylar. So they don't, they, Warner Brothers hasn't shared many things with the museum, but hopefully they're very hopeful that once the house is built that they'll, they may share some things from the actual set to put in the house. Now, there's a new exhibit that had came since my husband and I were there, um, in the pony cart. The one with Martha Corinne, she painted the pony cart. And then there were, it was in two episodes. The other episode was when Elizabeth couldn't walk and Amy Godsey took her on the pony cart to the lady who could heal her. That, that was the second episode, but the, now that in the museum, they have the actual pony cart from the show. It's the actual one. So that was really exciting to see. I've got pictures of, of everything at the end. Now, my beautiful sister is in those pictures because this was her trip. This was special for her, and I wanted her to have lots of memories of that day. So I took a lot of pictures of her. So she is in most of the pictures, but... Um, I hope you'll enjoy looking at those. I also took a couple pictures at the Rockfish um, store that we stopped at. But we were both doing the doobie dance because we needed to go and they didn't have a bathroom. So we weren't there very long. <laughs> we could, we had to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but, but there was one room you'll see a picture of. It, it was like, I, I was in heaven. Just this one room has just had a, two of my absolute favorite things in the world in it. So you'll see that. And then also took pictures of the open house at the Crossage Station. We met up with Diana there on Saturday morning and we had some, they had refreshments for us and we did quite a bit of shopping and looking around and, and, having fun there. I took my Houses of Hawker and Hollow and Terry has possession of my baby now and she said it will be ready probably mid-January. So I'm excited to see that. I'm excited. I had to pick out another frame because she no longer had the frame in stock that I picked out a few years ago. So, but I think, I think my sister Diana and I, I think we made a good choice. It, I think it's going to look really pretty. So, after that, we went to our standard lunch at Cracker Brow, and we had we had a good day. And we came home Saturday afternoon, so it was a it was a very good trip. My sister really enjoyed it. I tried to keep her from seeing the signs along the way, and when we got close to Walton's Mountain, I slowed down and let her read the sign and she looked at me and the look on her face was like, no way. That's exactly the way she looked at me. No way. Very excited. Very excited. Okay. I have a couple shout outs I'd like to mention. Lisa Stitching Stable, my friend Lisa, she and I have been talking on Messenger and um, I was introduced to her through Becky. Hi, Becky. And she's, she's a really sweet girl. She's, she's just wide open, funny, just hysterical. So go over and check out her, her floss tube. It's Lisa's Stitching Stable. Lisa, you're a nut. I love you to death. I'd also like to mention Stitcherella. It's S-T-I-T-C-H-A-R-E-L-L-A. Her name is Natasha, and she reached out to me 
through Messenger and said that her family lives here near me. She, near, They live right down from the Walmart that I shop at when I go to Walmart. She said that um, next time she comes up to visit her family that she's going to let me know we're going to get together. So that's exciting. I'm excited to meet you, Natasha. Natasha has is stitching black black sky by primitive needle and when I watched her last video and saw that she was stitching that it just immediately took me back to 2011 to the day that Lisa Roswell died I remember where I was when I heard that and it just brought back so many memories of that awful day but just such a young life taken so tragically and it's just so sad but I'm glad she's stitching that and I'm glad that Lisa's designs are still out there and they're very hard to find now they're very sought after charts so it's wonderful that she left such wonderful things for us to enjoy and she also said that she is the youngest of 11 kids She's got 10 brothers and sisters, big family. She said her, her father is the oldest of 13, <laughs> so their Christmases must be off the charts. And I'd also like to mention another Lisa, Lisa Abbey's Needleworks. Lisa is a multi-crafter. She has beautiful, beautiful projects. The video, the last video that I watched she did a little punch needle pumpkin and put it on an oil can. I mean, who thinks of that? That's just, it's it's so cute. And then she also stitched a beautiful needle book um, that she made. And she, she's just very clever in her finishes. And she's just a sweetheart. She's got a gorgeous quilt hanging behind her. She's got beautiful furnishings. She's just, just a, a very, very, and she films her videos in two parts because of her phone. So check out the first part of her video first and then follow up with the second part but she is just just a joy to visit with it's lisa abby's needleworks so i will link all three of those below so go and show them some love okay whips i took mount vernon with me this plum street needleworks a mount vernon christmas this is a colonial gatherings club chart exclusive from Dying to Stitch and Paulette. And I wanted to tell you, hang on. I wanted to tell you that those of you who like this chart and you know you can't get a hold of it because it's an, it's an exclusive club piece, I borrowed this one, but this Mount Vernon house, Plum Street has a chart out called George and Martha and this house is in that chart as well. This house is in that chart as well. So if you want to stitch Mount Vernon, that is an option for you. It's it's the same house. It's just different. You know, it's, it's a little different, um, but it's the same house. So I know because Diana bought it at the shop and we were talking about it being Mount Vernon as well. So that's an option for you if you want to stitch Mount Vernon. But I got a lot of progress in mine this week this past week and I did run out of the white because I used the wrong color on Monopoly but um, I used some of this thread on Monopoly on the placement so I did run out but I got everything else all the other white done and I did get one tree done so I'll be putting the shutters in I've ordered I've ordered more of the whitewash weeks that I'm using I've ordered more from um, Joanne when I say Joanne, I mean one, two, three stitch. I'm old school. I've been, I was on on Joanne's message board years and years and years ago. And to me, one, two, three is Joanne's. You know, I say Joanne, I know there's a Joanne fabrics. So that's not what I'm talking about lots of times. It's, I call, I call one, two, three stitch Joanne's because she, she's the owner and I just, I've just always called it Joanne's. But I've ordered um, some weeks from her. To finish this and in the meantime I'm, I can go in and put the shutters and fill in the windows and then do the the other tree 
So that's coming right along. I'm excited. I'm excited. This will be finished in no time. So, and and she ships very quickly. So I should have it Thursday or Friday. And I also, of course, making more progress on Monopoly this past week. I didn't get done what I wanted to get done, but I got, I, I still got, I got short line finished here and I got chance done. And so now all I have to do is luxury tax and go. Why are you blurry? Hello. Okay. And I got boardwalk, park place, chance and short line done. And I just have luxury tax and go to go. And then I'll be starting on the middle. So I've got two more blocks to do. <laughs> I told Diana we had stitch night last night and she said, she said, I'm working on Lantern Lane. And I said, I'm working on my last chance. <laughs> so doing good with that one. Okay. Got some retail therapy to show you. Now, I did. I was very good. I went up there with the intentions of being very good. I was very good at Cross Stitch Station. So, but first, when we were on our way up Thursday, we stopped at Joanne's for the floss sale, like I said. And I got, I plugged in some holes. And I had, back in May or June, May or June, I completed my DMC collection, but what I did was I went through all my baggies and the ones that I were missing, I was missing, I knew they were in projects, so I knew I only had one skein, so I went ahead. So these, these colors are in projects somewhere. I know what color, I know what project that's in. <laughs> that's Monopoly right there. <laughs> so, yeah. Got those, and they also had their Halloween and fall things on sale 70 plus an additional 20 percent off so like they practically gave it to you to take it out of there but i found these and i thought they're so cute look how cute the little bottle burst trees that look like candy corns can you stand can you stand it i mean does it get any cuter this i had to have them I got them for practically nothing. So, awesome. Okay, I also, on, on Walton's Mountain, we went to the gift shop. <laughs> you can mail postcards from their gift shop and they'll stamp on Walton's Mountain. Like it came from Walton's Mountain. Isn't that cool? But this little bag, and inside this little bag, I have a postcard. From, this is four of the rooms in the museum. This is John Boy's room. This is the kitchen. This is the living room. And this is Ike's store. You can actually, I actually bought these in here. And this says on the back, I thought was wonderful. Rediscover the beauty and strength of the mountains, a caring attitude for traditional family values, a sampling of the lifestyle that existed in the 1930s. All this and more are available when you tour, when your tour guests visit Walton's Mountain Museum, home of John Boy, Schuyler, Virginia. <laughs> and I also found Isn't that wonderful? Somebody affiliated with that museum cross stitches because they also, I posted a picture on Instagram, they also had the big heart pillows that had home, home sweet home Walton's Mountain on them and it was, it was cross stitched. But this is just precious. I just love this. So pick that up. My sister got some postcards and some other things. She's um, actually going to start planning. She wants, she's been journaling just the way I do, but only on a calendar. She's got a calendar with big blocks on it. And I said, girl, you need a planner. 
And she said, well, Christmas is coming up. <laughs> so I'm actually going to get her a big happy planner for Christmas. And, but until then, Wendy's got a new video out. Hoodlum Times 4, she's got a new video out showing her current journal. So if you've not checked that out, I'll link her below too. Go look at that, at what she does with paper. It's unbelievable. But we collected paper because we are going to be doing some of the same things in our planners. So I'm excited for my, my sister. I'm excited for my sister to join me in that, in that, in the, the planning stuff. So I'm going to have fun with that. Now, at Cross Stitch Station, like I said, I was good because I've got a framing order to pay for. So I got a framing order to pay for. So I put a hefty deposit down on that and I just picked up a few things. Diana got lots of good charts. She got lots of good stuff. But I got two grab bags. She has she always has these grab bags. And I got two of those. And then I also saw this model on the wall and I had to have it. This is October 31st by Kathy Barrick. I hadn't seen this one. That's me up the right side and down the left. On the model, they used more variegated flosses, like half of their pumpkins would be green and half would be orange. And it was very, very pretty. And I was instantly attracted to it. So I love this one. Adore it. So that was my haul. <laughs> That's what I got. Giselle, I know that big bag, but those... Those grab bags took up most of the space in the bags. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do too much. Like I said, Diana did. She had fun. So, that, that is my retail therapy. Let's draw some bingo words. This is for our Tranquil Stitches holiday bingo game. This week's words. First one is number 18 reindeer. Number 18 reindeer. The second one is number 17 cookies. Reindeer cookies. And the third one is number 32 Santa. So 32 Santa, 17 cookies, and 18 reindeer. So check your check your list. And next week we'll draw three more. Remember, if you get all 15 words on your list, email bingo in the subject line to tranquilstitchesbingo at gmail.com and that'll be linked below. So you should be able to go to any of my recent videos and the email for bingo will be there. All you have to do is go to the show notes and you'll see it. Okay, last week I rehomed some charts and I would, let's see. I had, yeah, November, December 91, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. And this has... This gorgeous Santa chart in it. And the winner of this one, well, I say winner, it's just, you know, this will be going to Sandcastle Cottage. Sandcastle Cottage. I had English Pubs by Across My Heart. This will be going to Seaweed Otter. Seaweed Otter. You guys are going to have to tell me where your names come from. Sandcastle Cottage and Seaweed Otter. I love that. And then preserving stitches will go to Ivy House Crafter. Stephanie. So your name was pulled for this one. Ivy House Crafter will get recipes. Then we did this chart and the twin pointed needles from Rochelle at the Cottage Needle. And I had asked you to share a recipe and several of you did. Thank you so much because I'm going to try them. Barb shared stuffing. A stuffing recipe 
and Karen um, shared a salami roll-ups recipe with pumpernickel sticks, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a, a surprise birthday party for my husband, and I think I'm going to make those for that. And then Becky shared Coke salad, which I'm definitely trying to. Coke salad. And then the winner, the this, well, yes, the winner, I guess, because this is more of a drawing, is Misty. Misty C. And she shared spaghetti corn casserole. Now, now Misty, <clears throat> spaghetti and corn, you know what? I'm going to trust you. <laughs> I'm going to try that. Begrudgingly, but I'm going to try it because I like spaghetti and I like corn. So, I... I'm, she says it's really good, so I'm going to try that. So if you all, any of you all are interested in those recipes, please check out my last video and look at the comments and the recipes are there. So thank you, Barb, Misty, Karen, and Becky. Thank you so much for sharing your recipes. I really appreciate you all. Now, Misty, Stephanie, Seaweed Otter, and Sandcastle Cottage, please email me. My email is below with your address so that I can get your cards to you, okay? All right. I got a gift from Kim right before I left. And, you know, I'm... Kim sent me a box, and she sent me this sweet card. And I have to share this card with you. It says, may the bounty of the season fill your heart and home. Isn't that beautiful? Inside it says, having somewhere to go is home. Having someone to love is family. Having both is a blessing. Absolutely, Kim. Absolutely. So pretty. Love that card. I opened this box, and my jaw just literally fell off my face. Just fell off my face. Kim sent me this beautiful bag with linen in it. These are linen cuts. There's weeks. There's picture this plus. I, and you know what? This, because I have seen so many. I think there's a Lizzie Kate on this. Something about Christmas cookies or something. And then Coffee Stitcher is stitching the Tammy series on this fabric, which is, is gorgeous. This is Country Natural White Petty Point by Wichelt. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim, because I've been so curious about this fabric, and now I can try it. But she said she doesn't really care for linen, so she just shared some, some linen that she had with me. And I am so grateful. Thank you so much, Kim. And I'm going to tell you what else Kim is very good at, besides being a sweetheart and a nice person and a, just an overly, overly sweet lady. Kim is also good at making needle minders. I want y'all... Look at these needle binders. Look. I'm going to show you. There are Halloween ones. A little... These are perfect for ornaments. Like if you're stitching ornaments in a little hoop, which I do. A little Christmas gingerbread house button. And these. These are Thomas Kincaid. And they are sparkly. They are loaded up with bling. Look at that. Oh, trying to get this. I don't know why it's not focusing today. Look how pretty. Look how absolutely gorgeous. Kim, I have to tell you, I broke the rule. I broke the rule because when I went when I went to Waynesboro, I took this one with me and used it on my Mount Vernon while I was stitching it. I did. I love Thomas Kincaid. I absolutely love Hometown Hometown My Hometown by Thomas Kincaid. That is my absolute favorite, favorite painting that he's done. And someday I will 
own a print of that. I absolutely love that one. I mean, I love how the streets always look wet, like it's just after a rain, and just, and the way the light reflects, it's like, when you look at it, you're just transported there, you know? It's such a feeling of comfort and warmth in his paintings. I absolutely love Thomas Kincaid. And these, oh my gosh. Look at these. I opened the box and this was this this beautiful masterpiece was sitting right on top. That's the first thing I saw when I opened the box. Look at these. Look. Look at the owl up there in the tree. And there's Jack himself. I watched Nightmare Before Christmas in the hotel room. <laughs> Love that movie. And then this one. Oh my gosh. It's got a little Look, look how pretty. I'm trying to get it to where there's not as much glare. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely. You know, I was fussing about making needle minders. Kim, you got it. You got it down. Girl, you are fabulous. And that's not all, folks. <laughs> look what else she sent me. She sent me a set. This is a frogger, you know, picker with jack on it. Oops. And a matching scissor fob with jack on it as well. Look at the king. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kim, I'm, I'm blown away, honey. I'm absolutely blown away. Thank you. Thank you wholeheartedly from the bottom of my heart for that wonderful, you know, it, it honestly, honestly, it perked me right up. I mean, I was kind of down when that package came, some things going on. And when I saw that, those things, I was just like, it just lit me right up. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. So it came at a perfect time. So thank you very, very, very much, Miss Kim. I really appreciate it. Y'all, you know, I, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I, I am. I, I, I'm just blessed. Also, Virginia, Miss Virginia, We've, we've been, um, she's been sending, she sent me a few things this week as well uh, that were waiting on me when I got back. These are Gloria and Pat Calico Kittens, and it's a series. They are so cute. If you like cats, look at these. This one is... Just says CK number one. I thought they had names on them. Calico Kittens. I guess it's the Calico Kitten series. I thought they had. Yeah, it's just, it's just, that's what it is. The Calico, Calico Kitten series. This is number one. I want you to look at that patchwork. And her little face and that little mouse. I, I can't even. This is number two. Oh, see that? Rockabye. Duh! I swear, y'all. Rockabye. This one is Bouquets of Love. It's got patchwork, a little patch on this. Look at that. Number three is Dear Santa. Don't spill the ink. A little mouse sitting there. And then it skips to number five. This one's Boo. How absolutely adorable. And then number six is Just For You. A little Valentine. Look at that. You and me. Isn't that sweet? So cute. She sent me a Mill Hill Charm Stocking. And she also sent me this Just a Chart. 
um, Jan Lynn. Four Seasons Chairs. I, I love this. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Yeah, pretty. Winter, autumn, summer, and spring. Isn't that pretty? I just wonder if you can hear it rain out there. It's, it's pouring the rain. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. What else I got? What else we doing? Okay. I have been working very hard on plans for next year. I've got my planner set up and I am thinking about what I'm planning to do next year. If all goes well with what I've got planned, which I don't think I'm overwhelming myself because I made absolutely sure I wasn't going to do it. I should be able to go into Mania carrying just three of the 16 projects over to next year. So if everything works out, I will just be carrying over three. I have had 10 finishes so far this year, and six of those were Mania finishes, and I'm extremely close on a couple more. So I've, I've done really well. I, I didn't realize I had done as well as I have until I started, you know, looking at everything. Now... Rags to Stitches USA, she has a new floss tube out, and I was watching her her last video. She said her guild, her guild does a journey piece. They meet in October, and they all decide what their journey piece is going to be for the following year. I love, love, love the idea of a journey piece, because what you do is you choose one whip that you've had that you're working on that's substantial and you either decide that you're going to do a big part of it in the following year or finish it depending on where you are with it and I I just think it's a wonderful thing she had a perman of Copenhagen um, piece that she there's a lot of black work in it and that she made her journey piece for 2018 and she finished it and it's stunning it's absolutely stunning. And I commented and told her that I think that I'm going to adopt that idea myself because I have I have a piece that I need to finish in 2019. It has languished in my UFO pile for long enough, and I'm going to finish it. So I've decided that in 2019, Rosewood Manor's inspiration will be my journey piece, and I will finish this. And I can do it. I can do it because I am, I've got quite a bit done. I've got quite, quite a bit done. There's no reason I can't finish this. Isn't that pretty? I love the colors. I'm just using DMC. It's a 32 piece, 32 count something. But there's a lot of over one in the middle. Um, the house and all of the little to-dos in the, in the, this is all over one here. And the, you know, the vines are just a lot of backstitching and, but it goes quickly. It goes quickly. I mean, it is like involved. There are 20, 30 page, well, the alphabet's on page 30, but there are 29 pages. So, yeah. And I, I'm just too close not to... Look at that. I'm so close. When I start working on this, I'll show you a picture of... Well, actually, I can do it now. This is Diana, my BFF. This is her finish. We This was a stitch-along we, we did together. And she just blew by me. She did it on beautiful, beautiful yellow um, fabric. And it's gorgeous. So, yep. Yeah, that's This is my journey piece for 2019. And if I finish it in a... Uh, quick enough time then I'm going to choose another piece and work on it I'd like to get village at least half done in 2019 but for stitch mania I am going to participate in that and I'm also I'm going to choose ornaments from the ornament issues and plug in all of the the days so that I've got little things that I can finish up for Christmas ornaments so that's my plans and Also, 
This is in my 2019 plans too. This is Joyous Noel. This Diana, this is on loan. On loan. And I'm nervous to death about it. <laughs> because this book is extremely rare and extremely expensive. And we can't have a cat thrown up on it or anything. But this is on loan from Diana. And the reason that this is on loan from her is because of this baby. This is the original booklet that this that Tis the Season came in. And I'm going to stitch this. She's already stitched it. She And hers is beautiful. She's already stitched this, and, and she knows I want to stitch it. So she lent me this book. I was going to buy the Home for the Holidays book, but she said there's no need because I have the chart. So, and there are some other beautiful things in this book. There are some beautiful charts. I'm not sure how many of them have been re-released. I know some of them have. This book was 2009. And let's see, it has Tis the Season. It has these wild berry strawberries. I'm nervous to death about crinkling the pages. It has Sweetheart. It has this Love Letters, which I love. I might have to sneak that in there too as one of my ornament starts. Look how pretty. It has a souvenir of Paris, which she and I both have been to, to Paris. That's pretty too. And it has some gift tags and it has the Joyous Noel chart as well, which is this one. So pretty. So that's on loan, and I'm, there will be a working copy. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I have a slideshow, like I said, of Walton's Mountain, the Rockfish Store, just a couple pictures, and then some pictures of the Cross Stitch Station. And I'd like to say thank you to Leslie. I met Leslie at the Cross Stitch Station, and she took a picture of me and Terry together by the ornament tree. Thank you. To, thank you so much, Leslie, for doing that for me. And um, I have some pictures to share with you. So please check out the floss tubers that I have mentioned um, if you so choose. And I will. Oh, also one quick announcement on my project bags. I am going to start putting those in my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop will be linked below, and I hope to get some of those uploaded this week. I've got some orders to fill, so if you're waiting on a bag from me, I will be contacting you in the next couple days. And so I'm going to be making some bags and put, just putting them in my shop when I have time because things are just getting really crazy for me right now. I don't have time to get bags ready every week. So what I'm going to do is put them in the shop and then if there's any um, any left that I'd like to feature, I'll show them to you on my video. But you're, you're always welcome to go to my shop and look and see what's there. So anyway, thank you very much for visiting with me today. I really appreciate it. And until next time, happy stitching. Mm -hmm.